Well, good day, folks. It's James VA3 JPX, and welcome to another how to video on my VA3 JPX YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the audio deviation level on a Kenwood TM D700, which is the uh, dual band uh, mobile transceiver with built in APRS. Uh, one of the problems with the D700 is that it has low mic audio. Uh, the levels are very low, and some people will tell you that it sounds tinny or it sounds distant. And you practically have to swallow the mic or talk quite loud in order for, uh, for people to hear you quite well. Now you can fix the mic opening uh, by using a, a drill to bore out a larger opening for the mic element. Um, but I would rather not do that um, instead. I just uh, want to increase the deviation um, in the uh, transceiver. So that's what we're going to do. Step number one, make sure the radio is powered off. Okay. Uh, you'll also need to place a jumper wire onto pin number three and pin number six of the data packet port that's on the back of the radio. Step number two, on the D700 remote head, hold down the first two buttons on the lower left, that's the function and the tone, as well as the power button. So you're going to hold down those three buttons. The radio will then power up into the alignment menu. Okay, so step number three, uh, using the left and right arrows, what you want to do is navigate to the deviation setting. Now, the settings that you see and the values that you see there, you want to write those down. In the event that you need to revert back to these settings, you'll know what they are. That's a real big important step right there. Uh, step number four, press and hold down the PTT, okay? Yes, the radio will be transmitting, so make sure there's an antenna plugged into it, or at least a dummy load. Um, and what you'll want to do is while you're holding down the PTT, you're going to turn the channel selector, okay? And that's going to start changing that deviation value. So what you'll want to do is put it to something a little bit higher. My setting, I changed it from, it was at 7 alpha, and I changed it to alpha 0, and that seems to work uh, well for me. Um, but your mileage may vary. Uh, you'll probably need to do a whole bunch of tests to, you know, see what the best setting is for you. Once you're uh, done choosing your value, you let go of the PTT, and then proceed to press the set button that's on the uh, display. If you don't do that, and you power the radio off, it's not going to remember the setting that you changed. Okay, so let's move on to step five, and we'll power off the radio, and then remove the jumper that's in the back. Make sure you remove the jumper. Don't leave it in there, because if you do, when you, when you go to transmit, nobody's going to hear your audio. Now, some special notes about this. Um, you'll need to do this for both the VHF and UHF bands independently. So. Uh, the way to do that is when you turn the radio on with the jumper uh, plugged in, uh, just go to one of your VHF uh, frequencies, make the modification, hit set, and then switch the channel to one of your UHF frequencies, and then do the same mod again um, because the, the deviation settings are separate on each band. And as in any modification that you do to your radio, you're doing it at your own risk, okay? If the radio is new and it's still under warranty, you make that modification, something happens, and you try and get it repaired under warranty, it probably won't get repaired for free. So that's it. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the modification um, helps. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment section below. And you have yourself a great day. Take care and keep on rocking.